Okay. Uh, hi. Um, I'm Chris Ward, President of Mike's Media Side. Uh, we're a producer of a polarization uh, modulation that's on SEMA. We have over 700 theaters now around the world. Uh, China and Russia operating our system. Um, uh, our product is now in the market over two years. This is a, this is a polarization switch. Yeah, a polarization switch or a polarization module. Right. For, for passive 3D solutions. Passive 3D, yes. Um, we keep working on it in terms of the optical technology to improve it and make it a better product. Sure. Um, we have a 15% total systems efficiency. Light efficiency is the most important thing in our industry. Right. This is how well we use the light. And we've achieved a 15% total system efficiency, um, which is accounting for the static light efficiency at 41% of our core products, and that's the optical color. Right. Um, the projector's multiplex, projector's dark time, which in our case is 350 microseconds. Okay. Uh, 3D color correction, port glass, and the 3D glass. So we take all that into account, and we're at 15% efficiency. Okay. Um, so therefore, then, a client using common bolts can do about a 2.4 gain screen and get up to uh, 60 feet in width approximately uh, with high, high frame rate films. So um, the high frame rate films actually use more light. So you'll, you'll start at around a little over 15%, you might drop to just a little below 15%, depending on what frame rate you need. In our case, we can do... 100, uh, 120 hertz, 192 hertz, and even up to 240 hertz. Okay. Okay. Now, now the Hobbit's going to be 48 double flashed 3D, correct? That should probably go to 192 yeah. if it goes to triple. Yeah, I, I'm heard it's just double at this point. Uh, it's a choice. See, with our product, at least, you can do anything you wish. You can do what you want, right? We're, not, we're actually not cut off in any frame. We can go to a, we go beyond. Okay. Um, so understanding the whole system efficiency with all those factors, including the port glass uh, transmission and the glasses, is really important when you're evaluating these uh, these uh, these polarization modulators, because all of a sudden there's a whole lot of these new competitors out there today. Is that is that correct? Yeah, it's really important that everything be compared very uh, fairly, and it's also really important for the client to understand what we're talking about because what we're really talking about is we're talking about light efficiency. We're talking about how efficiently you use the light that you're paying for the bulbs. So yes. it's basically like a BTU situation. The more efficient your product is, the more efficiently you use the, the light, the more money you save. And we're still working on a, on models for this exactly, but we already know from models that we've created, we've gotten uh, uh, lamp curves from, from some of the major companies. And we know that you can save with our product um, in the range of $750 to $1,000 a year on lamp costs by buying a more efficient module. Wow. And that's why it's not just the price you pay for the product, it's the price you're going to pay over the five years you have it. Right. More, because you expect it to run more or longer than that. Sure. So it's a total cost of ownership. And that's where our focus is. Our focus has been on essentially reducing that ownership cost, looking at the whole way and how efficiently we use the light that goes into the system. Right. And your current product is good for how, how many lumens? Uh, we have been tested uh, way beyond 40,000. Way beyond 40,000? Beyond, beyond 40,000, okay. Which okay. is uncommon. The yeah. majority of the products in the market, you know, around thirty-four thousand, and that's that's their actual DCI lumen. Right. Okay. And the pricing for your product? Fourteen thousand five hundred is our MSRP. Okay. Great. Thank you, Chris.